Welcome to this tutorial video, which will allow you to create round robins and key switches in your virtual instrument. First, let's define what these terms actually mean. A round robin allows the virtual instrument to cycle through multiple audio files, all by hitting the one key. This often allows for a more authentic sound for live instruments, as the sound of the instrument is subtly different every time we play it, making it more realistic. A key switch, on the other hand, allows you to do this, but it means that you can use another key on the MIDI keyboard to change between the sounds manually. They both use a similar process, so make sure you follow along with this round robin tutorial, even if you're just trying to create a key switch. Firstly, have your instrument open in contact, as well as a finder folder with all the audio files you'll need. I'm going to be using the Jangu, a traditional Korean drum that we have recorded. In contact, open the group editor, then click on edit, and then click on duplicate groups. This will create a duplicate of all the files you have so far in a separate group. This is important if you have some keys that won't have multiple audio files, and will just replay the first file. If all keys will have multiple audio files, simply click create empty group. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will just be using the duplicate group setting. Do this as many times as you need, depending on the maximum number of different audio files you will need for one key. For this example, we will be using three groups. Next, name your different groups. For simplicity, call them RR1, RR2, and RR3, short for round robin. You will then need to make sure that the Edit All Groups button is not switched on. Now click on your first group, click on Group Start Options and make sure that's open, and then make sure that it is selected on Cycle Round Robin. Do this in all of your groups. Now go through and make sure that the position in the Round Robin chain aligns with the group number. For example, in RR2, we want it to match with group number 2. Now go to group 2 and make sure it is selected there, and then delete the audio file you wish to replace with a newer audio file by pressing backspace. Now grab the other audio file and drag it to replace it. And put it on top of the old audio file. Now repeat this with group 3 if you have other groups. Now test it out on your keyboard. Each group should light up as you cycle through the keys, playing a completely different audio file. Now rinse and repeat for all keys that need multiple audio files. This is all you need to do if you are just creating round robin instruments. Now to create key switches. You may have noticed that there was an option to start on key. Click on that for each group. Then assign a key for the group to start on. You want this key to be separate from the other audio files, preferably at least an octave or two from either side. I'm going to use C2 as my key switch for group one, D2 for group two, and E2 for group three. Down the bottom you will see three red lights which indicate the keys that you will use to switch between them. Now if I press C2, all the audio files assigned with that first group will be able to be played, and if I click on the D here, I will now be able to play all the ones assigned to the second group. This will allow your player to easily switch between the audio files. Great if you want extra control 
of how you play your virtual instruments.